Hey everybody, it's Dr. Josh Levitt here. I'm at my office and I'm gonna go out on a limb today and I want you to come out on this limb with me to talk about a slightly controversial subject in medicine right now. And that subject is about antibiotics and taking the full course of antibiotics. Now, millions and millions of antibiotic prescriptions are written and almost every one of those antibiotic prescriptions comes with advice that sounds something like this. All right, here's seven days or two weeks worth of antibiotics, and I want you to make sure that even if you start feeling better on day two or day three, that you take the full course, that you finish all of the pills in the bottle and take them as directed. Now, you would think that this is such common advice that it must be grounded in some really strong scientific understanding, some strong medical literature, and it turns out that that's actually not true. The rationale for taking the, the extended course, the full course of antibiotics, has always been that somehow taking an extended course would decrease the risk of the development of bacterial resistance, superbugs we sometimes call them. These are bacteria that are resistant to the action of antibiotics, bacteria that can live even when antibiotics are in their midst, right? And the idea was that taking an extended course of antibiotics would decrease the risk of developing those dangerous bacterial superbugs. Well, it turns out that there's mounting evidence that the opposite might actually be true, that extended courses of antibiotics, more exposure to antibiotics, actually increases the risk of developing bacterial superbugs. And that kind of makes sense, right? The more time that bacteria have as they're exposed to an antibiotic in your body or in the food supply or in the livestock, wherever the antibiotic might be, the more time the bacteria are exposed, the more time they have to learn, and I, I use air quotes there, they're not really learning, it's actually more of a genetic mutation that's happening, but they quote, learn, to develop resistance, to thrive, despite the fact that an antibiotic is in their midst. So, here's what I want you to talk to your doctor about. Now, I, of course, can't give you direct medical advice for any particular infection in this setting, but if you find yourself in a doctor's office with an infection and get a prescription for an antibiotic, I want you to consider talking to your doctor about shortening the course of antibiotics. And here's how that conversation might go. You might get a prescription for a seven or 10 day course and be told to take the whole thing. What I would propose is asking your doctor about whether or not you can shorten the course to two days longer, that's 48 hours longer, than the point at which you feel better. So if you begin to feel better or you feel 100% better on day two after starting an antibiotic, that you might continue it through the end of day four, two days later, and not finish out the rest of the course for seven or 10 days as it was prescribed. So that's something that you might consider talking to your doctor about is just going 48 hours beyond the point at which you feel better on your next course of antibiotics. Now, I hope you don't have to have a next course of antibiotics because I hope you feel well, but if you do, I hope this information helps you. So take good care.